pray Krishna. Don't just be forceful, first be resourceful. Sometimes when we are in a responsible position where certain things are our responsibility to do or to get done, then we may have to push people, we may have to force people. So we may say people are so disobedient, people just don't understand, they don't listen and that's why I have to be forceful. But yes, sometimes we have to be forceful, but still we have to check whether we have truly exhausted other options. We need to strive to be resourceful before we become forceful. Resourceful means find out creative ways in which we can persuade, inspire or uh, activate people, not just use force. In the Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna talks about the qualities of the Kshatriyas, then Shauryam Tejo Dutir Daksham Yudhe Chapya Palayanam Danam Ishwara Bhavascha Shatram Karma Subhavajam. In 18.43, he says, Daksha. Daksha is resourcefulness, expertise. Shauryam Tejo Dutir Daksham. So they have heroism, they have. Yep. Power, they have determination, they're expert. The expert means they know how to get things done, how to talk with whom, how to inspire whom, how to uh, activate whom. And Yudde Chapya Palayanam, when it is required, they are ready to fight also. They don't back away from a fight when the fight is required. So there is the Kshatriyas, they are given the, uh, it is considered a quality for them whether they can be forceful. That just because the other person is not agreeing or uh, there's a confrontation, they will not back away. If they, something is important, something is a matter of principles for them, they will fight also. But before you de chapya palayana, before con, con, appreciating that quality of being forceful, the quality that is appreciated is resourceful, the action. So rather than assuming that people are simply disobedient and they have to be forced to do what we want them to do, we have to think. Maybe you know, I have not persuaded, presented the subject important in a way that they can understand. Because ultimately, if you want to lead, you know, it's important that we not only get people to do the right thing, but educate them so that they will do the right thing themselves in future. So that will happen only if they themselves become convinced. And for that, for persuading them, convincing them, we need to be resourceful. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is God and who can have more force than what he has? But though he has all that force, he doesn't uh, use that force, divine force, to force Arjuna to do what he wants, what he, what is required for dharma. Instead, he use, speaks the Bhagavad Gita. He uses visual exposition as well as verbal, demo, verbal exposition as well as visual demonstration. He uses various arguments and then he demonstrates the Virata Rupa, the universal form. And through it all, he persuades Arjuna. So Krishna is resourceful in persuading Arjuna. If God himself doesn't choose to be forceful as the first option, of course he has to be forceful with Duryodhana, whom Krishna tried to persuade, but Krishna did not, Arjuna did not listen. But with Arjuna, he was resourceful. So we needn't assume that people are like Duryodhana. We can, we can give people the benefit of doubt and assume that they are like Arjuna and if we strive to be resourceful, not only will we be able to develop our skills to express and persuade others, not only will we train others to make healthier choices, but also we will have more richer and fulfilling relationships. Thank you. Hare Krishna.